your hard money guys is going to be what's going to get you through if a flip's going to take you four months. Okay, how much is my rehab? How much is my house? What kind of loan do I need? And then we get in and out of this thing. Okay, fast approval process doesn't take them long. <clears throat> I've seen them underwrite a deal and, and on the phone. Doesn't take them long. Less stringent credit requirements. They don't really check your credit. I've never really had one look at my credit at all. Now, they don't know you. Your credit is who referred you. Seriously, because how did you find this person? And you'll find people that throw money at you all the time. I'm a commercial lender. I don't advertise it. I don't put it out there. I never will until unless you're a client. Uh, but there are people who have access to that. But deal with somebody who's in the business already. Uh, can be used for properties that don't qualify for traditional mortgages. That is true. Uh, but not attending in investments is where we're at. The cons, they're higher interest rate loans and fees than traditional mortgages. Yes. Don't be surprised if it's 10, 12 percent, 15 percent for 90 days. I'm not tripping on that at all. I need the money. I'm in. I'm out. I'm OK, because what I'm going to replace it with pays them off. And I'm fine with that. Uh, shorter repayment terms, often less than three months, three years. Sorry. Um, they are. You don't have hard money for long. You don't want to be, you, you, that's too high interest rate to pay for too long. Require a larger down payment, often 30%. There sometimes your heart. Them and private money pay for each other. And the, and the deal is what they're investing in. Private money, private money, private money, private money, private money. Let's go into private money. Let me see where we at with the private money Let's see. I don't think I have private money up here. Didn't let me go private money from here. That's the one that I didn't have. Private money. More flexible lending criteria than traditional mortgages. Yes. Faster approval process. Yes. May offer lower interest rates than hard money, and they do. Okay, they're coming from a private person. It may be um, it may be a situation where it could even be a smaller institution. Okay, traditional FHA, B of A, credit union, that's your traditional. Private money, if you can't get it anywhere else and you're trying to bridge yourself for a year, it's it's possible. But on the investment side, I use private money and hard money together for my flips. And I think that's the best route to go. Higher interest and fees and traditional, yes. May require a larger down payment, yes. May require a personal relationship with the lender, of course. Of course, you just can't pull these guys out of the air, nor should you want to, okay? Nor should you want to. Everybody doing good so far? I know I'm covering a lot of stuff. I'm not, I don't want to insult anyone's intelligence either, because I know some of y'all, based on the comments that were in the, in the chat before in study hall, some of y'all gurus are ready. So y'all might be up here and need to be a teacher assistant. I saw your, uh, your, your debt covered ratio questions. So everybody good so far? I don't want to lose nobody. Okay, all right, then. I hate that. I don't like asking questions midway through. I'm just making sure y'all good. All right, let's see. Private, boom. Sale of finance. Uh, I'm trying not to be, how can I say this? I don't want to sway y'all one way or the other, but sale of finance, and I'm going to drop a small dime on y'all. If you understand how to use the financing in real estate, you can understand how to use the same financing to buy a business as well. It's not that different at all. And when you get those two together, listen to me, you can be a true investor. Trust and believe me. Seller financing, bias. Yeah, eh, you know, I'm trying not to be. All right, so seller financing may be easier to qualify for than traditional marketers. You're dealing with the seller. You're dealing with the homeowner. If they're not trying to get their money right now and they can take a note from you and they can trust you, they're fine. Most flexible repayment terms and interest rates can be a good option for properties that do not qualify for traditional financing. Now, you're like, well, what's what properties, coach, don't apply for general like financing? Like, how how that work? Why, why would that be a situation? Well, there are some homes that, five homes that can be hard to mortgage. Now, y'all need to know this. It's not a part of the class coursework, but I'm like, you know what? They need to know. These have an idea. So please put this link in chat. Um, you need to know what homes could fall into 
a bad situation. An overbuilt house. Some new investors lose their pants because they go this route too fast. Is the prettiest house on the block? Is the biggest house on the block? I want that. But hold on. Remember we, last class, and for those of y'all who are the first time here, there's something called a CMA, a comparative market analysis. You're going to pull the top three to five homes that sold in that area. If I'm looking at a four bedroom, two bath, two car garage, X square footage, yada, yada. And I want to see what that house should appraise for, should sell for. I'm going to pull, your realtor will, pull the CMA and see, okay, according to this, you 300000 But this house got so many more features, the owner wants 400000 Nah, bro, you ain't getting that much money. I don't care how much you put into it. So sometimes you can overvalue your house by putting too much into it. Now, that's your forever home? Do you think? Do you think? Because you could affect somebody's comps, but any smart realtor will pull you out anyway. But be careful not to get caught up in these homes, okay? Unpermitted work, that's why you need a good crew. You got to pull your trade permits to make sure that the work is done. You don't have code violations. Now, as an investor, I mentioned this last week. See this little term here that says code violations? I'm going to my county clerk office and I'm pulling my code violations. You can do this now. All the code violations, there's a list of them. And the best ones is when they got code violations and they moved. That's another class, but it's a good way to find investment properties, the code violations. Non-working kitchen or other major problems in the house, you're not going to get a loan because it won't pass inspections. It won't get, it won't be able to get a loan. Okay. I lost my, my skin, and I mentioned this before. A house I flipped, we didn't look at the piping. They came in with a 3D thing, checked on the ground, and pipes were leaking. There were old pipes. So we had to redo the pipe before we closed, and I didn't get a chance to, I, I, I just broke even. Okay, so that happened to you. Flip too often. If a 30% profit is okay with most banks, banks know you're going to make your money. They're not stupid. But if this thing has been flipped over and over and over and too many times recently, and they can do a title search, and they will, and they can tell, change the title. If it's been flipped too often, nah, they won't touch it. So you have to know this. That's why, again, your team, realtor, trades, GC, title company, is your is is like that ace in the hole. Because if I see a property, I'm like, you know, hey, do a title search on this. I like it, but check this out for me. I got my man's software, so I can go in and pay a couple bucks and run a title search myself. When you do that, then you hit them up again and say, hey, I found this. Can you verify this for me? Boom, boom, boom. We're good. Uh, Mother-in-law homes. This is becoming more prevalent, though. I'm not sure where in the country y'all are at. But there's something called ADUs, accessory dwelling units. They're becoming more prevalent, and, and zoning is allowing this more. California, big time. So ADUs, check your zoning. Understand where this is at, because if you can put an ADU on, listen, I like the little houses. Let me get the house. Let me get the, the, the lot. And especially if you know how to build on these lots, you know, like a 50 by 100 lot is like a standard small lot. Write that down, 50 X 100, 50 by 100 lot. You can build a two-story situation, you're good. So if I'm looking at something that's got a little pie-shaped lot, I can put something on the back, I'm gonna do it. Again, another way to make investment. But these are the five things that can call you, or the slides, um, a way that you cannot get a mortgage. You don't wanna get into these deals and not be able to get a mortgage on it. 